Now it's recording. Okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy July 12th. I'm currently like literally it's as bright as it looks because I'm wearing sunglasses. So don't mind my incognito look. <laughs> but um, today's meeting is super excited. It's exciting um, because we're going to have our lovely Amy share a little bit of wisdom with us. Um, her and I have been collaborating on something that we're excited to share with you all tonight um, about reaching out to um, fitness professionals in our areas and having them really take a serious look at Arbon. And so um, I know you're like, okay, that sounds kind of scary. I wouldn't know where to start. Um, and to be honest, the the topic that Amy will be will be training on tonight is about like going out of your comfort zone. And a lot of the times we get so caught up in the you know, in the smaller details of things of like, what, what am I going to say? What can I say? And these things. And so um, instead of getting caught up in that, um, I'm excited for you guys to hear how we've kind of, or how Amy's kind of um, grown past that, um, those kind of like small fears that we first begin with. So um, just a few, a few um, housekeeping things before we get started with the training. Um, number one, impact training registration is officially open and for this whole month it's early bird registration and you guys you want to do the early bird because it's one it's only $35 so it's $10 cheaper than um, not early bird um, and early bird re um, registrants actually get a free gift upon arrival at the thing so not only are you saving money but you also get a free gift and I believe it's like a spiced vanilla chai candle um, which you might be like, oh, I don't really care about candles. But I'm telling you, you guys, we have um, at my house like Bath and Body Works candles that give me literal literal headaches because of the fumes that they give off. And so having, you know, a true epitome of like, you know, my art, my home is urbanized with this candle is really great. Um, secondly, we do have um, the incentive of hitting your, you know, your district manager. Um, not your brick or and or going district manager this month and so you guys have three more days I'm extending it to the 15th um, because I feel like the 12th is kind of like an awkward date so the 15th you have a few more days to go for it um, and I don't want you to think about you know oh my gosh I'm so far or I still have this many like you guys you you have the rest of this month but you it you have the chance to challenge yourself now to see how far you can go until the 15th and see how much more you have to do from then on or how many more people you have to reach out to and help and really step out of your comfort zone and do that. And so um, that, that, that'll be at the end of Amy's training. She'll talk about, you know, hitting her brick and everything. Um, and what else is there? I know that there's something else. There's also um, an OKC um, lifer training in, obviously in OKC, but it's, uh, it was actually a really cheap training too. It was like $40, $45. Um, I believe it's currently sold out, but if you're interested in, in um, looking into that, it is one of the most huge, hugest, it is a really big thing that happens every year. Um, huge speakers are going to be speaking on there. Um, I think Cecilia Stoll, Peyton Scheibner, um, those are just a couple of the few that I know of, um, but we're actually lucky to have our speakers for impact. So if you can't do that, make sure you, you make impact happen. We're going to the Long Beach one for in September. Um, and so I'm giving everybody enough time to plan for it. If you need to carpool with us, um, reach out to any one of us here so that way we can make it work and we can make it happen. Um, no excuses. There's plenty of time and it's really affordable, especially because we'll be going together. Um, and so with that being said, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to Amy. Go ahead, Amy girl. Hi guys. Um, yeah. So Nicole was like, I want you to speak in the meeting on Friday. And I was like, what? Okay. What do I say? Um, so I have like a couple topics, I guess that I'll like cover kind of briefly, but I also really want to like have time for like hearing from you guys and like questions as well. Um, so kind of like the first topic is just like thinking outside of the box. So like I feel like I've learned just from like this business is like, there's no like one way to do it and there's not really a right way or a wrong way to do it. It's pretty much like however you make of it. Um, and so whether like you're just doing like DMs on Instagram or, you know, you're literally like going into stores or businesses and advertising that way, or if you're just advertising with your family, like there's so many ways to do it. Um, and I've really learned that like, 
network marketing literally is everywhere we go. And like, no matter what we do in day to day life, we're doing network marketing. So like, whether we like it or not, we're advertising for other products. So like, why not advertise for our own? Um, so just like thinking outside the box, thinking about like how you can just like incorporate into your daily life and like your daily conversations with people and, um, you know, not be, not being like that person, but like talking, like just naturally about the product in your day-to-day -day life. Um, and really just thinking outside of the box every single day, how can you bring this business into your life? How has it changed your life? And, um, you know, how you can kind of like go above and beyond in your business every day. Um, so with that, um, comes with like using resources. So something that I like found really really great on our business website was the CRM tool. So I, like I said on our last meeting, I'm super, probably super late to the party, but I had no idea that there are all these email list templates that you literally are already built out for you. You just have to load in like all the email addresses of people that you know, um, and then just send emails. So there's one for like, I want to get to know you better. I want to understand your journey and your story. And then there's ones to like tell them about all the new products that we launched recently. There's also ones uh, you know, being very specific, like this is our RE9 line, this is our skin elixir, this is our, um, you know, our Genus uh, intelligence tool um, and being very specific. And then there's more broad ones. So literally whatever you want to tell someone, there's probably an email template for it. So like, don't work harder, work smarter. So if you're like, I want to tell my grandma, about our RE9 line, but like, I don't want to jump on the phone with her and explain it to her, or I don't want to just like send her a random text. I'll send her an email and then I can follow up with like a text or a phone call. Um, so I actually did that with my grandma, <laughs> bless her heart. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's just kind of getting that conversation started and then obviously like following up in, with an email. So I sent out one of those CRM emails to my neighbor, just like, I was like, Pulling around, sending emails. I sent it to her about the 30 day challenge. She actually reached out to me and she's like, I really want to do this 30 day challenge. Like it sounds, you know, amazing. And you had really great results with it. And then I went over to her house last night and I got her signed up. So like, it's really like, it might not always be that easy and simple, but it really can be if you're willing to like, just use the resources that you have. Um, and another resource I use daily is just listening to people. So everyone has something that they want to change about their life, whether it be, you know, with their wealth, their health, or both, or just something very specific, like, you know, they're, they see your skin, they're like, oh my God, your skin looks great. What, what have you been doing? Like, it's a great outlet or a great intro to talking about what you've been doing. So just listening, you know, people have problems and issues every single day, and they're just looking for a solution. So why can't you be that solution? Um, and then of course, Instagram and Facebook are always going to be great resources. Um, I would say like with DMs, um, you know, not like I found that like I tend to like follow people and I'll kind of like nurture that relationship for like a week or so, or like I'll get to know kind of like what they're up to in their daily life. And then I'll reach out to them and be like, Hey, like, like for instance, this blogger that I follow, she got married a week before I got married last year and her and her husband are planning their one year anniversary trip. And on she posted about the trip and then her husband commented on it. He's like, Oh my God, babe, we got to get our beach bodies back. So I was like, well, hello, I'm here. So it was like a cute little like intro, like, hey girl, I saw your recent post about you're planning to go to Bali for your one year. Like I, you know, I would love to share, you know, the gift of this 30 day program if, you're, if you guys are looking for a way to kind of like get back in shape for your one year anniversary trip. So I would say like using Instagram and Facebook are great tools. Um, and if you don't want to be like that person where you're like, just like following people and then reaching out right away, like just take a week or so to like listen to them, see their posts, see their stories. Like, what are they up to? What do they need in their life? And then, you know, kind of going from there. Um, and I totally, I feel like I have felt this way as well about like feeling like I need to reach out to people because I need to make that sale like today. Um, and like, I've felt that way of like, I just need to make the sale right now, but I need to, I need to learn. And I feel like other people might need to learn too. Like sometimes we just need to take time and we need to nurture relationships and plant seeds because the more we plant, the more we nurture, like the more it's not going to seem like a sales pitch or like a pushy kind of request. It's going to seem more natural and more like this person actually cares about me versus like, they're just trying to make a sale off of me. Um, so I've definitely learned that a lot in the last few weeks. Um, and I hope that's something that you guys can learn as well. 
Um, and then last, thirdly is just getting out of your comfort zone. Um, so I know like a lot of times when we get no's and we're like, Oh my God, that's the fifth no I've gotten today. Like I'm done for the day. I want to, you know, give up. Like I would say, just go out of your comfort zone and just like essentially say like, fuck it and be like, I'm going to reach out to this person. And like, if they say no, that's okay. But at least I made the effort. I planted this seed. I, you know, did something to get that conversation started. And like nine times out of 10, they're probably going to reach out to you in like a few weeks or months or maybe a year because they're going to realize like, okay, that person really wanted to help me. And now I'm ready to let them help me. Um, so some relationships take longer than others. Um, but with getting out of your comfort zone, I have a really silly story. So there was this girl that I was like admiring from afar at Orange Theory. And I was like, oh my God, she'd be so good to do the 30 day. But I was like, I'm not going to reach out to her. Like I just met her. I don't want her to think I'm weird. Um, and so I was like, I'll give it like a few days. And then <laughs> Alejandra reached out to her and got her on the 30 days. So I'm super happy because Alejandra's on my team. So it like benefited me as well. But I was like, I should have just reached out to her. Like, why did I stop myself? Why did I tell myself like not to do it? And then of course Alejandra did it, which I'm super happy about, but I'm like, that could have been me too. Like, why wasn't that me? So I would just say, if you're like hesitant and you're like, I don't want to reach out. I'll let it like wait a couple days, like maybe do wait a couple days, but don't be scared to reach out because they might get swooped up by someone else because maybe they are open to being reached out to and you just never know it until you reach out to them. So get out of your comfort zone. Don't let fear stop you. Get over it. Just in your mind to say, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then just hit that send button and just like breathe a little and then do your more reach outs, the more you do, the more you like get into your rhythm. I believe and trust that you will soon to, you will get over hearing the no's as like a negative and be like, okay, that's fine. Like onto the next, I planted the seed. I'm good. I'll move on. Um, so that's kind of like my, I would say training. So I would say think outside the box, use your resources and get out of your comfort zone. Um, and just really just like, we're at the 12th of the month and I just checked my dashboard and at the 12th of the month, I've already hit my maintenance for the month. So I'm already at 2,600 QV right now. So I've already hit my maintenance. Essentially I could stop right now and be like, I'm good. Like I hit maintenance. I don't need to work anymore, but I know that like I have bigger goals for myself and I want to reach further. So I'm going to keep going. Um, and the way that I hit maintenance this month compared to last month is I have Alejandra on my team now. Um, and Alejandra, she has been killing it out there with like reach outs and talking to people at Orange Theory and her parents and her family. Um, so she got, um, two people to do the 30 day challenge. And then she ordered about a thousand QV, QV on her own from her own store to then do samples for her friends and family. So with her QV and then with me uh, bringing on three new PCs and then uh, doing orders for myself, we were able to accumulate the 2,600 QV for me to hit my maintenance. So, and we're only at the 12th of the month. So, and like this time last month, I was struggling to hit maintenance. So I just feel like the difference between like last month and this month is that I've like really gotten out of my comfort zone and I've just like told fear to like basically fuck it and go away. And like, I'm just not going to like let fear take, take me down anymore. Um, and like, yes, I'm human. So like every day is different. And like, there's going to be days where I'm like, I'm scared. I don't want to do it. But then I just have to remember, like, I, I am my own worst enemy and I am my own boss. So like, if I say no, I say no. If I say I'm scared, I say I'm scared. Like no one else is going to be like, Amy, like, yes, you guys are going to help me and be like, do it. But like, essentially it's my business. So like, I want to run it. I'm going to run it. Um, so yeah, so that's like what I want to say. But, um, what Nicole was talking about earlier in the call is, um, Nicole and I try to get together at least once a week to just like brainstorm and like, have ideas. And I definitely encourage you ladies to like either get together with their upline or, or a sideline or someone like once a week or every other week, whatever works, just either on the phone or in person and just like brainstorm with another person on our team. Um, cause I feel like the chat is really good, but it's also just great to just like talk one-on-one -on -one with someone else. Um, and kind of like hear their experience and hear their thoughts and you just never know what will come out of that conversation. Um, so with Envy and I, we met last week and we we're like, we love orange theory. Other people love orange theory. 
but like that's just half the equation or actually only like 20% of the equation. Like they also need nutrition. So we're like, what if we compile a list of all the gyms and small studios in the area and start reaching out to them? Like I'm sure their clients and members also need nutritional products and also need education on, you know, getting their body detoxed and, you know, better so that they can do better at their workouts. So Envy and I made a list. We just started with about 15 small gyms and studios in like the central like East Bay. Um, and we compiled a template. It was literally like her and I just like, okay, let's say this, let's say this. And then we just made this cute little like template together. Um, so we, we can definitely share that with all of you and you can kind of like customize it to what you see fit. Um, but we just started emailing gyms and studios. Um, I haven't gotten any responses yet. I just started yesterday. Um, but our hope is that like we can connect really like personalized and one-on-one -on -one with some of these like smaller studios and gyms in like the East Bay um, and really like be of service to their members. Um, and the goal, the long-term goal um, is really to get like the studio manager or the gym owner to be like an IC um, and sell to their, to their clients and members. So they are creating this extra stream of income for their gym and for their members. And they're kind of sort of becoming like, um, like their own one-stop shop. Like you get the gym membership and then you get the nutrition as well. And then of course, whoever, whoever the IC is under, it funnels up to you as well. So you profit from it too. Um, so that's like our plan right now. Um, obviously it's still a work in progress. Um, and it's at the baby steps right now, but I definitely encourage like we all don't live in the same area. So this is definitely something that you can recreate and, you know, start on your own. So like the girls that live like in Stockton or um, Fairview or Fairview, oh my God, Fairfield um, and Sacramento area, like this is definitely something that you can duplicate and do like in that area as well. Um, it doesn't have to be just an East Bay thing. Um, and honestly, it could go pretty much anywhere. Like if you're willing to travel somewhere, like reach out to that gym. Um, do you know of like, uh, you know, a small business owner that has like a small little gym for like mid-aged women or old women, I don't know. Um, and like, maybe they need some nutritional help, like go introduce yourself and maybe become a partner with them. Um, so honestly, like the sky's the limit with this partnership. Um, and our essential, like big, big goal is to host, um, like a happy hour or a healthy happy hour for fitness professionals, um, and bring every kind of like fitness professional together in the same room, um, and talk to them about how they could, um, leverage their time and energy with their clients to also give them nutritional information that is Arbonne products. Um, so a lot of like Arbonne consultants like Danielle McCleary, um, One Healthy Bod, like they are fitness professionals and they also tell their clients about Arbonne and um, One Healthy Bod actually um, requires his clients to be on Arbonne while they're working out with him. So, um, those are just like some ideas and options, but, um, but yeah, long story short, um, the goal of this is we definitely want to create programs and services within our team that can be duplicated across the entire team. Um, so that is what's going on right now. Um, but I wanted to open it up to everyone on the call. Um, I want to know like what you guys are struggling with right now. If like any of us can help you, um, or if you have questions about like potentially like placing random orders. I know, um, Jess had a question about like placing like out of the box kind of orders, um, that are not particularly like as a set or whatnot. Um, so yeah. Floor is open. Ask questions, comments. Go ahead. Wait, while you're formulating your questions, I had I, um, while Amy was talking, I thought of a couple points that she totally hit the nail the head nail on the head of. Um, but one of them was about like you know when she spoke about getting over the fear of the no or getting over like that that sting of the no. Um, when you ever get really really scared to reach out to someone or go out of your comfort zone or do something crazy you feel like is crazy. Um, when it comes to anything, your Arbonne business, your career, um, your relationship, whatever it is, I want you to calm yourself down by thinking about the worst case scenario. Think like literally, what is the worst, worst, worst thing that can happen? And really just be honest with yourself. Okay. The worst thing that can happen is if I ask my coworker to take a look at Orange Theory, not Orange Theory, sorry, I work at Orange Theory, <laughs> to take a look at Arbonne and she says no to me, the worst thing that can happen is that I'm going to go to work and I'm going to have to just be myself around her. And she's going to have, she's going to know that I do Arbonne, which is 
the goal anyway. You want everyone to know you do, you know, you do Arvon um, or that you're an advocate for health and wellness with Arvon, right? I love saying it like that. Um, but when you, when you make, be, make it real to yourself, like, okay, this is really the worst that can happen and this is the best case scenario. Then in your head, you know the situation. You, you feel like you're um, at that point, you're like, ah, oh, I can deal with that. I, I can handle, I can handle getting a no from her. I can handle, you know, the scenario A, B, or C. And so um, I've been doing that a lot. And I'm just like, you know what, worst case scenario, this happens. And I think I can deal with that. Like I can deal with that short bit of um, uncomfort. So that's helped me a lot. And then pertaining to the fitness uh, professionals thing that we just shared right now, you guys like um, reach out to literally, you know, your upline, your sidelines, exactly what Amy said. And um, collaborate off of each other. You know, like we said in the past meetings, I'm going to keep reiterating it. You are not alone. Like you're not alone. And Amy is like, the, not the only person that is like allowed to meet with me or allowed to coll- like, she can collaborate with Jessica and, you know, you guys can collaborate with each other. And um, you know what I mean? We can make these things happen as long as we're willing to do, to do that one extra step. And so I encourage you guys, like, you know, we just came up with the idea of having the healthy happy hour with a fitness professional yesterday and before that scares you I want you to realize that everything in Arbonne has been happening for 40 years so whatever you're looking for whatever answer whatever solution whatever um, way has been done before so it's all about really working smarter and not harder right it's all about like okay if I do this uh, presentation you know just think of it as a healthy happy hour like how we hold Um, events here and there, right? The presentation is already set out for you. The information is already set in stone. All you got to do is be you and show up. And that's something that you can, you know, you can apply every single day. You know, the product is already there for you. You don't have to worry about creating or curating anything new. Your job, our job as independent consultants and advocates for health and wellness is to just convey the message to people. We cannot control how they will take the message, but as long as we're sharing the message genuinely and um, authentically and are, you know, with our goofy self and we're just like, fuck it. I love this. I'm going to share it. What is the worst that can happen? Right. So, um, I just wanted to add that Amy, amazing job. I can't wait to hear what everyone else is going to add to actually pee really bad. So I'm going to go ahead and let um, Amy reopen the floor for you guys. Please ask your questions, collaborate. Like this is a time for you to just be out of the box and just say like, Oh, how did you come up with this? Like ask the questions that you're thinking about. Um, and yeah, take it away. You guys ask your questions. All right. Floor is open. So if you guys have questions or you just want to share anything, um, I think we have like 10 more minutes left on the zoom, maybe like 14 minutes because she started a little late. Um, so go ahead. If you have anything. Uh, how long do you need to like reach out to strangers to like talk about, um, not just like Arbonne, like, cause obviously like Arbonne has probably been brought up in the conversation, but like the 30 days or like, customizing a um, order kind of thing is it too um can you say the first part because it was really low when you said oh, when you started talking sorry how long like when you're meeting a stranger right uh-huh you trying to build rapport how long do you wait or like take to um like bring up the conversation yeah not like bring up the conversation again but bring up the opportunity of the 30 days or like building or customizing an order does that make sense yeah. Yeah. I mean, like it was kind of like, so like with the girl, um, that orange theory, like, um, like I kind of like wanted to wait like, like two or three days. And then like, it ended up being like, she got swooped up by Alejandra, which was totally fine. Um, but I would say like, I, like, if I like meet like a random person on Instagram, like I try to like, like kind of comb through their profile and see like what kind of person they are or like, what maybe like they're looking for, um, and give it like a couple days, like maybe one, like two or three days at the most before, um, I would like start to like reach out. Um, or like I would like let them start to see like my story. So I always try to check like my story views, um, before the 24 hours is up just to kind of see like, okay, is it the same people viewing it or is it new people, different people? Um, and just really seeing like, who is watching, um, and who like maybe has been watching and who I can like reach out to. Um, 
But I mean, I feel like it's kind of like however you feel. And like, if you feel like they're like, uh, like an A, like a star, like that you like just have to reach out to right away, like I would say go for it. Um, but if you feel like maybe like you want to nurture the relationship a little while and you don't want to just like fall, like hit the follow button and then be like, Hey, like want to learn about this or Hey, I'm this person. Um, and maybe at least like a 24 hour window before, um, you start like reaching out. Um, and I would like view their stories too and like kind of see who they are. Um, and then like see if they're viewing yours, see if they're liking your posts. Um, but yeah, I feel like, I don't know. It's, I feel like it's different with every like scenario, like it's different with every kind of person that I like follow or they follow me. Um, because everyone just has a different need and a different kind of like relationship that they want out of like their followers on Instagram. Um, yeah. Does that help? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, it helps. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. I have a question. Yeah. Um, uh, how do you guys usually deal with people that want like to try things or have, get sample samples before, um, actually like buying or even like getting to looking at like the catalog or online um does anyone else want to answer that i mean i can take it but for me um i kind of like build that rapport with that individual and see um what kind of person that they're going to be because um as much as like i want to give samples it's like my personal stuff too mm -hmm. and, there's I don't know, like, for me, I have, like, this, uh, this rule of, like, give, like, almost 50% of your products as samples, and then keep 50% for yourself, so, like, kind of, like, 50-50, but you want to, like, kind of, like, savor, so, not saying, like, pick and choose, but, like, um, what's that called, um, like, like, you know how, like, a digestion plus, like, you could break that in half, like, customize, yeah, customize mm -hmm. the size portions, of your sampling and then this is really like bougie and probably ghetto but i put them in ziploc bags <laughs> <laughs> and i give them to people but that's really like how i, I do that too okay well yeah that's how i share like my samples so yeah i can portion it the way i can yeah okay wait i have something i can share on that i feel like um what's that called so sometimes or i guess what we fail to realize that there's not really a true way to give samples. Like you, you literally can decide like, you know, okay, um, do I want to give my stash? Do I want to, do I want to, um, you know, just kind of share testimonies and that, that way they don't even feel like they need to get um, samples and they can just try it without fear. But one thing you always want to reiterate is that Arbonne actually has a 45 day money back guarantee. So yes, you can give samples. Um, I do it here and there as well. Like when it comes to fizzies, cause I always have those extra in my purse. That's a tip. Always have extra fizzies and extra stuff in your purse or in your bag. Um, just so you can easily just be like, here, I'll, I use this every day. You can try it and see if you like it. Let me know. Um, I love it. So I, I would, I would love for you to try it as well. But, um, the fact that Arbon has the 45 day money bag guarantee means that they can try the product and order it from us without fear that if they don't like it, they can get their money back. Right. And so that right there will alleviate a lot of the fact of like people will, you know, basically they'll, they'll hit it and quit it. They'll take the sample and then they'll either not use it, meaning it's a, you know, wasted precious cargo. Yeah. Or, right. Like you don't want to, you don't want to waste your precious stuff because you're like, Oh my gosh, like, I don't know if this person's actually going to try it or they're going to try it and then they're going to not pay attention and they're going to waste it. Right. So if you're going to give a sample, always find a, find a date where you establish with a person when you're going to follow up with them about it. Mm -hmm. So that way they're more conscious about, okay, this person is giving me something that they personally use. And so I shouldn't take it lightly. I should respect it and I should really see if it's something that I can use or something that I can really take advantage of or maybe order for myself. And so a good way to do this would be like, hey girl, um, remember how we were talking about physique the other day? I'm so sorry I didn't have one to give you right away, but I brought you a sample today. Um, I know you're about to work out either today or tomorrow. So how about this? I'm going to give you a sample. And because it's from my precious stash, I would really just love your feedback. Mm. So can we follow up? Can we um, shoot me a text? Um, can I shoot you a text or can you shoot me a text 
um, after your workout class or after your um, after your work shift or um, like 10, 10 to 30 minutes after you use a product and just um, give me some of your feedback. So that way they know that like you're serious about giving them this thing. You're not just like, here you go. Hope you like it. Right. Yeah. So establishing that like, oh my gosh, I really would love your feedback because I love it, but I know everybody's different. So how here, I'll give you a couple of my samples in exchange for your feedback. And if you love it, I can help you get your great discount too. Right. So that way you're not wasting your precious stuff and you're actually getting someone's full attention on the product because then they'll be paying attention to themselves after taking it. Does that make sense? Some people will just take it and be like, oh, it's a pre-workout. Okay, I'm good. Yes. They'll take it and then they'll waste it. So, mm -hmm. um, those are my two cents. Any other questions? I think that we, I think we have about like maybe five more minutes. Yeah, we have like three more minutes. So okay, three more minutes. if anyone has any other questions, go for it. <laughs> If, um, while you guys are thinking, I just want you all, you all to know that there's literally nothing in this business that's impossible, right? You can literally accomplish anything with, um, with a little bit of courage. You know, you don't have to know everything. And that's the, that's the best part is that you don't have to know everything because there's a resource, you know, there's a resource for everything. So if you're letting fear get in the way, just know that it takes the same amount of courage to be like, okay, why am I scared? Find the reason why and find it find the counteract to it, right? How can you walk yourself through that? Because as much as we all would love to literally be there in your ear being like, no, 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 girl, you can do it. You've got to be that for yourself, right? You've got to be that person cheering yourself on saying, why am I being so, why am I being so like laid back? Why am I not, you know, going for it? What am I so afraid of? Right? So does anybody have any questions or anything you want to share? You literally can only see my nose holes. <laughs> <laughs> well, if no one has any other questions, great job, Amy. Love your training. You're such a leader at, um, at heart. And um, for all of you that are on here, just know that I'll be reaching out to you soon because I want to hear from all of you. And this, is, this community and this space is all about you being able to break out of your comfort zone. Um, slowly but surely or you know however you want to do it so love you guys let's go for it love you. Oh, oh, oh. you got two minutes girl go um is august 24th still happening oh yes yeah oh yeah so um if you guys weren't on um the call before um august 24th is gonna be like our um big like discover our bond event our bond event at my house in Hayward. So it is a Saturday. So um, I hope you all can make it. Um, I'm going to challenge you to invite at least two people, um, if not more. Um, so the minimum is two. The max is however many you want. Um, my house is pretty big, so we can fit a good amount of people in here. Um, and then if you want to come and help like set up, um, we'll, we'll discuss a time as it gets closer. I'm not off to talk to Nicole about a time, but if you want to come early, like literally you can come as early as like 10 or 11, hang out. Um, and then after the discover Arbonne, I think the plan is to literally like go like hardcore and pretend it's like closed night. Um, and just like use the momentum from the discover Arbonne event, um, and just have all of our laptops out and just cheer each other on as um, we all try to finish whatever our goals are for that month. So, yeah. Oh, you're loud, Nicole. Um, but anyways, um, if you guys don't have any more questions, I know that me is probably going to cut us off soon, so I don't want to cut us off. Um, when you say invite two people, do you mean like in person or like virtually? Or um, so it's in person. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with that, um, I just want to say thank you guys for listening. I'm going to post this recording on the meeting or the group or the chat. Um, but yeah, if you have any other questions, go to the chat. Um, have a good weekend and we'll talk Monday at 8 p.m. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Have a good weekend. Love you guys. Go for it. Don't be scared. You've got this. We got your back. <laughs>